as we begin to glimpse the vastness and mystery of a universe that seems to be expanding faster and faster every minute, we can see how our Creator's commission to the human race to develop the earth it can be a forerunner of a commission to develop the vast space of the universe itself. Just as time and space seem to change and vary, so material and spiritual realities may vary in the infinite space that exists beyond our planet. So it's not unreasonable to see our relatively short time on Earth as the preparation for our Creator's plan for the vast universe itself. How then do we live? First, accept that God knows all that he has made. He knows also all the consequences that will follow from all the actions that we human beings may freely choose to take as we ignore him and try to use the world to supply the love that he alone can give. Then also, see the present passing events as God's continuing to permit us to see for ourselves where our self-centeredness takes us in our life together. When we narrow our view to our own personal or national advancement, the result is small-minded and stultifying death. When we rise into our Maker's grand commission to develop the planet and the universe for His great purpose, our life expands and catches his magnanimity. Now here's the good news. Above time and space, he has rectified in his Son all of the resulting desecration in us and the fabric of the earth that has taken place over the years. The astrophysicists are right. The future is here. The maker of the universe sees it all as one great moment. The kingdom of God is indeed just at hand, right here. We have some of our little space probes, even, in places thousands of millions of light years old. And he can now actualize it through you and me in time. So our Creator's Son has lined up circumstances today in which he may be able through your mind and will to bring the order and peace of God to the earth. As you experience here on earth in time the destruction and recreation of our world-dependent personality, you begin to understand the steadfast love and heart of your Creator and share his tenderness and his care for the creation. So here in your life on earth, you can allow his son's spirit to supply this insight to your daily work and life. In this way, you start the superhuman life that will burst into full maturity in the new life after death. As you live then in the future life where he has placed you at his right hand and his son, you will be able to understand his mind and execute his will, however complex and remote the galaxies may be. Your own unique mind will be so enlarged and energized by his sons that life itself will seem to lift you into a higher sense of being that has no limitations. And this is true however narrow your present existence is and however overwhelming the present small-mindedness may seem to be. In this infinite existence lying all around us there is no thought of endless space but rather a peace and joy of intimate and loving relationships and harmony waiting for you to embrace and express it knowing that all around us in space is this future in the midst of all these glorious gravitational waves that our Maker enables our little minds to grasp. The kingdom of God is indeed right here, just at hand, closer than breathing.